All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mode of an Enemy. Today we have Eddie. Eddie, thank you so much, man, for making the time for us. What's up? What's up? Thank you. Much for... love, man. Thank you for making some time for us. Yeah, so tell no us, man, what do you drive? Um, I drive my uh, 1993 Acura Integra GS. 93 GS? Yes. Walk us back, man. Like, when did this whole modding car started for you? Um, honestly, I was probably younger, maybe like around 15, like, no, I'm 15, 14. Uh, my brother had a, a black uh, EK coupe. And um, he had a uh, he, he put on some coilovers and thrown on some uh, Rota Circuit Eights like the MFA mm -hmm. MFA reps and it was black and like the wheels were bronze and like I was just kind of like oh this is kind of sick and I just slowly <clears throat> started looking up like getting into Hondas and I think from there that's that's where it took off and I bought my first car. Um, what was your first car? Uh, '97 uh, Acura Integra, a DC. Ah, oh, not a bad choice. Yeah, and I was like, all right, you know. Um, it's cool it's cool and um at first honestly i didn't really like second gens that much because i was just like you know it's like the tools whatever you, you kind of gotta have like a, a taste for them you know a lot of people don't like the square body uh-huh and it was funny how it happened because i had it was like ls my my dc was mm -hmm. and i was like oh you know what i want to get a gsr like a dc2 you know on, so, yeah, yeah. so i sold it and i was like, all right cool i i was chilling for a little bit and my dad hit me up and was like hey i found you an integral you know this and that and i was like oh, things, things are probably gonna be like junk or something you know and we went to go check it out and it was uh i still have it it's uh 1990 Acura integra coupe ls you still have it yeah that's fine. dope but it's clean it's like the body wise it's clean and i've been having it for shoot maybe yeah six years already nice and it's a shell right now then i haven't i haven't ran it in a while but mm -hmm. It's still there, so it's it's. That's the baby. It won't go anywhere. Yeah, no. Regardless of what, so. Um, <laughs> That's cool. I've been through some hard times, dude. And <laughs> that was not going anywhere. I stop. It just stays. It stays. I'll live there. You know? I don't yeah, care. Yeah, <laughs> it's a show at the moment. I'm trying to case swap it, but. Ooh. I, I don't know how long I've been saying that for, so I'm just like. I <laughs> That's think, cool. I, I think this is the year I'm gonna try to. Do. That's what you said last year. for stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what I've been saying every year. I'm gonna do it. And no, it don't happen. But yeah, the year you got it—that's what you said, man. Uh, that. Okay, so so then you still have that one, cool? Yeah. Um, I also have another four door, a 1990. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's a white one. Nice. Um, I bought it from uh, one of the homies. Uh, no wonder I we can't find them on Craigslist. You're hoarding them, dude. <laughs> nah, that's why everybody tells me you're it's like you got a car dealership up there, you know? Seriously. So, but uh, yeah, I have a total of three. Well, three, three second gens and my Civic, so let's see. Hopefully, I don't buy any more. I was going to, but I need to relax. We'll see. I, we'll I, see. I, need, I need to save some second gens for people out there. You know? <laughs> so then walk us forward to this one. How did this um, one come about? Um, my, my homie, uh, Jerry, had it. And uh, he's had it for a while, you know, and, and like he was like, yeah, you know, like I kind of, he used to have a black coupe, a mm -hmm. RS and he he got rid of it he got rid of it and he was like oh you know what he got himself into this one okay and he was like ah, you know what i kind of want to get rid of it i miss my coupe <laughs> he i miss my coupe and you know we were kind of back and forth of like me buying it <laughs> him selling it you know so it was just like all right whatever then one time he hit me up he was like hey like i'm gonna sell it like for sure for sure you know and made some stuff happen came up with <laughs> came up with the money dude and that's why the car is not case yeah, up yet <laughs> yeah you know uh, i'm always ready to buy something and something else comes up for another project so i'm just like uh what i can't let it yeah, go what, what project do i focus on you know so <laughs> so yeah that's how i got it um he, he pretty much had it like this way mm -hmm. um but i had bought it without the te's um it have the front lip i bought the front lip um it have a the carbon fiber hood for a while mm -hmm. but he sold it to me like not too long ago um it had one piece headlights they had visors um stuff like that mm -hmm. but it i pretty much bought it how he had it so like he had it like this mm -hmm. but i bought the wheels later on um and now i just need to do stuff i have visors for it i haven't mm -hmm. thrown them on um headlights i need to get some headlights but it's just there yeah, that's, that's how cool. i came about it you know he sold it to me he hooked me up so overall very 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 clean car man thank so you so obviously yeah this is not your first car this is not your first rodeo with especially with the second gens uh -huh. what is the vision for it um for right now um i want to clean it up you know um has some little like things i need to take care of mm -hmm. um but i mean it's stock it's like stock ls 
AC power steering and everything. No, so it's I'm like, you know, like I might throw some cams in it. Like, don't maybe some leave it, powers. leave yeah. it. No, that's leave reason, it. Th that's the reason why I don't leave do it because it's like it's hard to come by like a stock and any a stock Honda nowadays, Anything, you know. Yeah, so I mean, it's in working condition, yeah, and it's clean. Like, the AC, I swear, the AC blows co colder in this than in my Civic. So I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm not gonna mess with this. So I might just clean it up, maybe put the back seats in, like clean up the interior. Uh -huh. Um, the trunk needs some work, uh, but that's about it. I mean, maybe a little repaint. I'm not sure. It has some spots, but mm -hmm. otherwise than that, it's cool. It's, leave it. No leave bad. it. Yeah. Leave it the way it is. Go balls out on the other one. Yeah, Destroy the, the other one. I don't yeah. care. This one is super men, super clean, man. Yeah. Sure. So then let's get started. You said, okay, the front end, uh, it didn't have the, the, the hood. What kind of, what's the name of the hood and then um, the name of the front lip? So I'm rocking the, it's a 92-93 uh, JDP carbon fiber. It's like the it has he has different ones jdp mm -hmm. has a couple different ones but this is like the air duct air, air duct one love it um then the hood it's a bis um carbon fiber hood and it's like an old school hood mm -hmm. because um like it's it's double-sided so it's like oh carbon fiber nice. and the carbon fiber in the bottom that's so cool it's like an old school it's an old school version of mm -hmm. a carbon fiber uh hood so pretty much it and then you 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 did the unthinkable which was take out the one piece headlights like that's you get the car and then the next day it's the one piece headlights for you guys yeah, what, no, yeah, what yeah. happened like a common thing. <laughs> um, well he, he he had sold some part well so he has another coupe now um but he took off some parts to put it on his mm -hmm. and like i've been kind of i've been kind of looking for one piece headlights um i'm kind of picky with them like they need to be mint condition okay like, usually um because it's like a jdm h4h light bulb and i mean we don't have that here in the like us like those style like you can like mess with it but most of the time those one piece headlights where you insert the light bulb they're kind of like grinded off or something it's like now it's all loose you know you're all driving down the road okay. and it's like all flickery kind of but um so there's some science to this yeah yeah so okay i mean i kind of like it with the three-piece headlights but i Different? think so, yeah but i mean i think a one piece will look good so if I come across a clean set of one piece headlights, I'll probably get them. You, <laughs> you know? will get them. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. Though. I like I like the way it looks. It gives a nice different different little look. Yeah, yeah. But um, overall, it's super nice. Would you happen to know the name of the color? Um, I don't. To be honest, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't. But That's it's an OEM. It's an OEM black color, so it's not like a different one. That's from, awesome, man. You know, it's gorgeous. Okay, so then let's walk over to to the suspension. Uh, what what kind of suspension are you running? Um, it's on Function Inform Type Ones. Mm -hmm. Um, the front I'm running a K Tune uh, camber kit, okay. and in the back um, I don't have I don't have no camber kits. Um, I'm probably gonna buy some pretty soon. Need to dial in the fitment a little better, but uh, it's already really good, man. Thank really, you. Really, really good. Um, but that's about it for suspension. Mm -hmm. Like that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna redo like I'm gonna redo the bushings and all that okay. stuff. You know, because I mean, the car's probably past due on bushings. You know, it's an older <laughs> car, rides a little rough. You know, but but you got you got to get a T before the yeah, bushings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, oh, yeah. priorities are on that. <laughs> priorities are <laughs> those are good priorities. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> okay, um, and then obviously your wheels. Well, what kind of wheels? Tire specs and and, and, and tires as well. Um, it's a T thirty seven uh, SL. Uh, they're fifteen by eight, positive thirty five, with the hyper blue as a color. Um, the wheels, it's a 205 50 15 uh, Nito NT01. Um, it's gonna need tires soon, so I'm trying to see what kind of tires I'm gonna go with mm -hmm. next, you know. So, did you did you know that you wanted to go with the Hyper Blue, or it just kind of came across and you're like, let me try it? Um, well, uh, like I said before, um, the homie had them on before, mm -hmm. oh, okay, but um, like I've always liked CE 37s, um, even though, like, in my opinion, to be honest, um. It's an expensive wheel it's a good lightweight wheel but like i've started like i've been to the car shows you know and I, i'm like they're kind of played out they're you kind of think played. wow eddie <laughs> you came to that realization in yeah. southern california yeah, these you know? are played out yeah <laughs> yeah i'm calling shots at all of you yeah are you biters so oh, well, one like, thing i do have to say though i love the four lug save yeah. the four lug yeah so <laughs> yeah they're still four by 100 um I don't I don't think I'm gonna do a five lug or anything. I'm just gonna keep it like that, okay. you know? Just in case down the road I sell it. Mm -hmm. But um You won't. Yeah, <laughs> we, 40, then, me, me and the homie came to agreement, uh Jerry. 
he sold it to me we kind of came in agreement if i sell it it's gonna be back to him you guys are awesome <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like all right cool you know so but so you're just pretty much holding it for him and yeah in other words okay, yeah, okay, you know, okay, cool. throwing a little a little style to it but when when he's ready or whatever or whenever i'm ready we'll probably sell it back or who knows you know that's what they say right now Ed. so <laughs> it's not leaving both of you we yeah, know that for sure yeah <laughs> so the car's off the market pretty much what you're saying yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right and then the back is very very clean subtle mm -hmm. um any other plans for the back um i need to take uh take care of the trunk okay because uh a pre couple previous owners before um I guess they like threw on a drag wing or something and the trunk has some holes oh, okay, and like okay. um it's like it, it kind of warped the trunk mm. so like that lip that i have on there it kind of it don't sit right and it's it's already kind of older so you noticed I'm, it yeah i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a, a different trunk and then like the filler panel um and just a new trunk lip it's a mm -hmm. jdp trunk lip as well and just uh do that and that's about it you know keep it simple yeah nah, i love it thank you break like uh -huh. Integra, beautiful. Just tell us about your exhaust system. Um, OEM exhaust. Um, you know how it is in California, you mm -hmm. know. But it's stock. You know, it's it's not bad. It's daily. And I might throw like an axle back on there or something. Mm -hmm. But for but, now, it's good. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you know? if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. This is good. Yeah. So not everything has to be case swap. Yeah, right. Because then we get into your predicament that the yeah. car doesn't move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next, you know, it's sitting for four years, five years. <laughs> you know <laughs> and they'll be sitting for more for my five yeah, years no, just right there rotting away uh. see what you my bad it's a little dirty nah, that's what they all say uh -huh. no <laughs> all right. it really is <laughs> it really oh no actually he is here. Like, uh, <laughs> okay. um nah, it's it's pretty much stock um i need to get an aftermarket steering wheel set up mm -hmm. Um, I want to go with like a checkered sports hub, a machine hub, mm -hmm. um, and just make just like a regular Momo uh, mm -hmm. steering wheel or something. Um, it has the Recaros, they're from the DC2. Um, they're a little dirty, you know, they, they get used. Um, I want to buy new seats. I'm a, either like some Recaros, same ones, like from a DC2, mm -hmm. cleaner ones, or if not, um, I kind of been keeping my eye on some. Uh, DC5 Recaros, mm. so we'll do that. We'll see. Okay. You know, but for now, we'll just pretty much keep it like that interior. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to spend my money on something else, but you know, it never goes that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eddie. Well, thank you so much for making the time for us. If you don't want to charge your case swap? That's fine. <laughs> Be like that. <laughs> no, but keep it stock. Keep it comfortable. That's honestly like the best way to go. Um, I don't know, man. But I, I really appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate the fact that you're like sticking with the second gens. That seems yeah. to be your chassis of choice. I love that, man. So future plans for the engine compartment. I know we're not going to show it. <laughs> it's stock. He says, you know, it's dirty. It's fine. Um, but any future plans for the engine uh, compartment and then shout outs, man. Uh, for sure. Clean it up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with that. It can be presentable. Um, but just, now nah, it looks cool. I'm, I'm probably going to keep it like that, you know, stock AC heat, heater and stuff. So. Worst comes to worst, it blows up. I'll throw in like a B20, you know, like the typical, but that's about it. Um, and shout outs probably, uh, shoot, probably my, my friends and family. Um, my, my parents for letting me store all my cars at their house, you know. <laughs> um, I pretty much got a car lot going over there. Um, you know, they're always like supporting me, you know, like my dad's always like, oh, you know, I roll up with the new car and he's like, oh, yo, the thing is sick, you know, it's like, uh. you don't really complain. Like, you know, before when I was younger, yeah, but it's just like, now it's just like, what can you do, you know? Um, shoot, by the homie Jerry, he sold me this car. The owner um, of the car? Yeah. Been, he's you know, gonna go back to him. Our car? Uh, <laughs> our car? Yeah. He should have um, been here too. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's right around the corner. With uh, co-parent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and probably the homie Willie. Um, those two guys, Willie and Jerry, uh, they're always uh, they're always rolling with me to meet. Um, we're always looking out for each other, you know, buying parts and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it, you know. And just everybody else that supports the build and encourages me and stuff, you know. So, that's what's up, baby, man. I love this boxiness. I love, I, I like I told you, sedans are by far. I like them much better than the hatches or yeah. the coupes, whatever you call them. Um, 
something about the boxiness of them but yeah for sure i love what you've done with it keep at it finish the other one oh yeah we'll have you back for that one yeah hopefully you know <laughs> we'll see we'll see you in 10 years <laughs> nah, nah. it's still barely not even gonna be moving huh? <laughs> <laughs> having about the case up by then uh <laughs> no nah, man but i appreciate your time yeah. thank you so much for making the time for us man yeah, no worries, amazing man. build and uh please please keep it on the road all right yeah most definitely we'll need to, need to keep the second gens alive you know